This is JC with Scorpio Wolf Tarot. Thank you for joining me again this week. This is going to be a reading for the fire sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a love re general love reading, so only take what's your yours and leave the rest for someone else. These readings are meant to be timeless, so whenever you're meant to, whenever you come to this reading to see and hear it, that is when you're meant to see and hear it. Excuse me. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the cards so that we would save time on. The shuffling because it takes me five to ten minutes to shuffle and i don't think anybody has the time to be do to be sitting around watching somebody shuffle these cards and having them all fall out and laying them into a certain position it also gives me time to look at the cards and actually analyze what's going on in them so let's get to your reading so leos i kind of find it in when in the love department that you're having a difficult time you know juggling with you juggling between career relationships and money so you're 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 trying to learn how to do that and sometimes if you if you really value your partnership you kind of it's kind of telling you that you need to spend more time with that partner so if you're with somebody you need to spend more time with that person if you're trying to look for love you need to balance that work uh work and money situation to allow love to be balanced in so the universe is telling you to, you know, do that. Um, it's clarified by the death card, so that's transforming. So whatever you're doing now isn't working for you. So you need to transform what you're doing now between love, work, and relationships into something that's more attainable. Uh, so the death card is just ending the cycles, ending the train of thoughts. So if you were spending a lot of time at work, you know, dig, you know, building those pentacles up, you know, it's time to put more effort on other things besides that. Kind of, kind of get that balance out. Because, take it from me, I've been, I have to deal with family and work and money and all that stuff. And in order to, and you know, sometimes work will overtake stuff, and then you kind of neglect some of the other smaller things like family and 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 relationships. So, you know, kind of keep that in mind. Also, you know, like. Another example is like I've been putting a lot of work, you know, I have a lot of work hitting my, hitting my desk and it doesn't allow me to do these YouTube videos as often as I would like to. But, you know, at the same sense, I'm trying to balance it all out. So you're, you're trying to find that, that, you know, that 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 right balance uh, when it comes to love. Now, the energy that I'm getting from you is the Queen of Pentacles. So you probably did put a lot of work into the into the money category. Uh, in career money um you're real you're abundant um you know how to uh you know how to you know that you like the luxury you have you know also the queen of pentacles when it comes to love is about having higher standards uh when it comes to love so you might have placed a higher standard on your person or people that come into your life if they're going to be a, a loving partner and you know, don't get me wrong, Leo. It's it's not it's not bad to have high standards. I mean, if you don't have those high standards, then you don't really get what you want, and that's and that's okay to have high standards. Just don't set don't be unrealistically too high, because I kind of feel, you know, that that can cause issues down the road when you have super high standards for something that might not, you know, that you just might have to take it a tad down, you know. The Queen of Pentacles is abundant. They they know how to make money. They know how to make money. They know how to you know indulge in the luxury of things. Uh, but like us, like I said, they also have the high standard when it comes to love. They they hold your partners to high standards, and that's okay. So it's telling me you know with that high standards that present in the in your energy is that you have to have patience. You know, think of what standard what pieces of those standards you want to keep what are what are higher priority because you may have these high standards but you might have to you know bring it down just a little bit doesn't don't have to bring it all the way down where you're like dating someone that you really don't need to see yourself even dating i'm just talking about more about seeing what's the on what's the truth behind everything what is really necessary this is going in, in, inside using your intuition trusting your intuition that you're making the right decisions when it comes to relationships and uh potential partners uh this is the high priestess is uh is a calm energy um 
she is highly regarded. She in the intuitive. She's the thin veil between the this and the mystics mystic worlds. So it's trusting your subconscious, your your intuition. You know, manifesting things into existence. You know, listen to your dreams as well when you're looking at you know, looking into potential partners in the future. High standards. Now, because of these high standards, and I kind of feel that this is keeping you up at night. You know, the Nine of Swords. You know, you're kind of having these 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 uh, nightmares at night. You probably feel a little regret, a little remorse that you've had to cut some people away that possibly could have fit these high standards had you just lowered them that's had. So maybe you treated someone bad in the past and, you know, it keeps you up at, at night. You know, reach out. If, that, if that's something that's keeping you up at night, some, you know, you did somebody wrong, reach out to them. You know, tell them sorry, you know, that, you know, things didn't work out. Uh, get that get that off of your chest. It's just like getting something off your chest. Um, it's also, it's clarified by the judgment card. So, you know, the judgment card is an awakening. It's like, it's like an aha moment, like epiphany. You know, I did this person wrong. I need to go correct that. You know, it's about the rights and the wrongs being settled. You know, it's also about, you know, it's also a wake up call. The, the the angel the angel messengers is announcing and trying to wake these people up from the grave. So it's an awakening, an awakening to your conscience, your awakening to your subconscious, um, your intuition, your spirituality. It's an awakening to that piece of your of yourself. Because uh you need to get through this this nine of swords. This nine of swords is what's keeping you from finding true love and, you know, going out there. And I think the high standards is okay. I still think the high, you can have high standards. You're just going to have less, less, less choices. That's, that's all. And with less choices, you have to be patient. That it's not going to come right to you because when you have high standards, you, the, the pool of choices is diminished a lot. But if that, if you're comfortable with that and comfortable with that high standard, then I think you, you should do fine. Uh, it shouldn't keep you up at night. You know, but also keep into account that there could be people that come a little bit under your standards. But, you know, any kind of things, anything that's keeping you up at night, you need to rectify because the, there's a, a spiritual awakening happening between the, uh, for you at this moment. So thank you again, Leos, for joining me this week. I appreciate all the likes, comments, and subscriptions I've gotten. If you haven't subscribed, please leave a, leave a subscription, uh, subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button on the end of the video. Also, um, leave a comment if this resonated with you in any way. Uh, do you have high standards? Does anything in this video resonate with you? Uh, give me some feedback. Does, I'd like to know any if these readings are coming on, on point or anything like that. Um, also, hit that like button. Also, it helps to spread my content around YouTube so that more people can watch it. Uh, the more time that I get, and I'm trying, like I, I'm trying to do the Two of Pentacles here and balance everything out, I'm going to try to put some, put some intros into these videos, um, like some of these other YouTubers, but that's, uh, let's get those subscriptions up. I, I had a goal of 50 by the end of the month, and we're almost at the end of the month, and I'm still at 37. So, uh, let's hit that 50 mark. So, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, please. Thank you, and have a great week.